Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, one of the questions that I got a few times about Windows 12. And so we know that Windows 12 is coming next year. Um, one of the first questions, why does Microsoft do Windows 12 if Windows 11 is so good or whatever? And, and, and I've got that same question with why is Windows 11 there if Windows 10 is so good? And the question is, is simply that Microsoft has decided to go back to a three-year um, building block for new versions of Windows. This is what Windows was all about until Windows 10. Although there were some differences in time because sometimes uh, they had problems and they went astray and, and time was longer, technically Microsoft had a... Um, a, a way of doing a new OS, a new Windows, every three years, roughly, every um, since Windows 95, Windows 3.1, and so on. Now, Windows 10 changed all of that and became a operating system we up, update all the time with new features and change all the time with new features. But then we came to Windows 11, and Microsoft decided to go back to that three-year new operating system. Uh, you know, it's a way of selling Windows. Remember that Windows is a paid operating system. Uh, you might have had it for free on a PC, but you, you've you paid for it in some way. And, and the fact that you put ads in it, there's another way of getting revenue for them. But mainly, Windows is not a free operating system. Windows is a paid operating system. And having a new Windows means they're going to have more Windows revenue. Remember that 90% of people having new Windows is buy a new PC. And when you buy a new PC, remember that you purchased a license key. It was paid, you paid it in the price that you paid your machine. So um, that's why they want to continue and come back to a three year operating system because that's the way that revenue for Windows is going to continue. It's still a big, big revenue, Windows. Um, you know, it's not the most important anymore, but it's still quite a huge number. So it's important for them to still continue to work on that and have the upgrades going on. Um, for the secu for the bypass, is is Windows 12 going to have bypass? You know, will we have unsupported hardware being able to run Windows 12? Well, because the minimum requirements right now seem to be rather the same for the most part than Windows 11. The only thing that we don't know yet is will it require some new type of neural processing unit on the computer. Uh, if it does, it's probably going to be optional because there's not enough machines to justify that Windows would require that as a mandatory new feature. But I would guess that if the same minimum requirements are true, there's a possibility that, yeah, you might actually run unsupported Windows 12 like you do unsupported Windows 11. And Pretty sure Rufus and all the tools around that will update to include that in the new images for Windows 12. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.